This week, I want to tell you some of the stimuli that cause endocrine organs to do their thing, so secrete hormone. So the simplest one is kind of what that first lecture we started with for, for this week. Um, endocrine glands can be receptors slash integrators. So they might respond to low blood calcium, low blood glucose, high blood calcium, high blood glucose, etc. That is one type of stimulus that can cause endocrine glands to respond. But there's a couple other types as well. And as we get into more complex neuroendocrine signaling, we'll want to know about those because it's super cool. So I'm gonna share this last slide with you. Here are the three different stimuli for endocrine glands. The one on the left, the humoral stimulus, this is our altered thing that might need to be sensed. So calcium, potassium, blood glucose, cal um, or I said calcium. This example here is low calcium. Um, that's gonna trigger the parathyroid gland to release parathyroid hormone. So that's a kind of fairly simple endocrine response that we're gonna diagram <clears throat> in class. There also could be a neural stimulus that causes an endocrine gland to secrete its thing. An example we've actually already seen of this is the central nervous system um, signals to the adrenal medulla to release norepinephrine and epinephrine. So this is that um, autonomic nervous system innervation we saw in the fall that instead of a ganglia, there is modified ganglia that are the medulla of the adrenal gland, gland modified ganglia. So this is kind of the main example of that caused by neural input. Then we've got a hormonal stimulus. Now this is cool. This I'll talk about a lot next week. The hypothalamus um, releases hormones that cause the anterior pituitary to release hormones. So these are tropic hormones. Um, there's other examples of tropic hormones, but it means it is it causes the release of another hormone. So hypothalamus produces something, for example, called CRH. It's going to travel down very locally here and cause the adrenal cortex to release ACTH, another hormone. So hormone causes hormone to be released. And wait a minute, the adrenal cortex is going to release cortisol. So the signal for cortisol, the stimulus for cortisol is also another hormone. So hormonal stimulus. stimulus. This is here, the hypothalamic pituitary organ axes or pathways that we're going to look at a lot next week. So those are the three ways that endocrine glands can be stimulated. And this is your learning outcome here describe the very signals that initiate hormone production.